Go ahead. AccuCode 1600, roll to roll, laminator, water based coder for running vinyl materials. Any type of flexible material off a roll can run through this. There's different aspects of the machine. You got your main power. All it is is turn it on right here. Turn the switch on. The fan will start on the dryer. And the way I start it always is the first thing I do is set my heat here about 620 degrees Fahrenheit, which will be the heater, the heater for the drying, the drying of the, um, the coating. And we'll flip our heater on. It will start to heat only to get 620 degrees. It'll only take about probably about three or four minutes, pretty quick. By the time we have our material loaded, we're pretty much we'll be ready. So next thing I'll do is I'll actually take my uh, unwind shaft and feed and grab my roll of print or my media and sit it onto onto the shaft, slide it on, lock it in place, add a little break to it, leave it on there. I will go to the back of the machine and add take up core, it's a regular three inch core, take up my take up my material on the back end. And same thing, slide that in the base pocket. To web it up, I'll pull out the front Meyer bar assembly and flip it over to open it up. And we'll actually as a one person job, I'll take three pieces of tape, put them across here, and we'll get a little grab my material, and actually pull it up through over this idler, bar, and spin it, and grab it, and pull. Take one of the pieces of tape, stick it to the material, and actually stick it to the Take it to the back of the table. I'll go to the other side. Grab it. Grab it and pull it all the way through to the back take up. So I have to core down a little bit, line it up, and just tape it to the tape it to the core. Use an awful piece of tape. After I do this, what I'll do is just to make sure it's in there securely, I will run my, turn the speed up and run the drive and let it do about a wrap on the actual uh, material. So when we put our Meyer bar down, it won't snap and uh, release the uh, actual, uh, actual uh, vinyl. So once it gets there, you can actually speed up all the way. Good there. What I'll do is I'll go back to my monitor assembly and close it on the material and actually hook these in just to secure it in place. Here you got your wire Meyer bar, which is going to lay your amount of coating that you want to lay down, depending on the thickness, and then just an either. Uh, Teflon coated bar that just puts pressure down to make like a trough to make sure that the coating sits in there. Final thing you have to do with this is grab your dam stops, which will keep the coating in. They are their load R and L for right and left, so it's easy to know which ones. Push it down, snap it, and then close it on the material. Like that. What you would do now is you'd have your coating in the five gallon pail or three gallon pail, um, ready to run. It's cl enclosed so you can leave this in all the time, just as long as you keep the top on, no air will get in, it'll be fine. Just mix it before you run it, get a good mix on it. We would take off our little cap here on our valve and just open it, open up our valve just to allow coating to run through, through the tubing and out onto the material and run across so we get a flow of coating. Then once you get your amount of coating on there that fills, just you can either add, close it and open it as you go and just keep adding or find a spot that where it just does like a small dribble down to, uh, to keep keep the flow and keep the amount of coating in the, in the trough. Finally, 
once we got our coating there, we would set our speed to on here to probably around two on the dial. Once our heat gets up to our temperature and as it's going, we close our heater and let it go. And pretty much our roll will go and it will coat and come out dry on the other end and roll up on itself. The main thing is afterwards is when we're done our roll is to make sure we clean our bars. Probably about two to three minute job, but if you don't, that's when you'll, you'll have issues. You gotta get all the the, you gotta get the coating on the bars. Just wipe it down with um, with either like a doodle bat, doodle rag, I think they call it, or a sp and a sponge on the Teflon bar. Just wiping it down good with regular, just warm water, nothing tricky, and pretty much done. That's your, that's running a roll.